Hello! In this how-to video, I'm going to talk, walk you through on how to do what's called Speak It. It is an app or extension you're going to install into your Google account. I am Mrs. Pagilia with O'Leary Middle School. Okay, first of all, you're going to want to open this by going to your Chrome Web Store. It is located and it looks like this icon right here where the red arrow is pointing. If you're not, you can also type in this web address right up here. Okay, in the Chrome Web Store, on a Chromebook, there's two ways to get into it. One, you click on your magnifying glass down here at the bottom of your computer screen. Then, you click All Apps. Then, you click on Web Store. This is also where you'd find other useful apps that you're going to use throughout your career as well as more. Okay, let's type in the word speak it. You do not need to put the quotation marks around it and you don't really need the exclamation point. Just type in speak it in this window right here. Good. When you pushed enter you're going to look for what's called extensions. It's not an app. These up here are considered apps. We want an extension. That looks like this one right down here. So you're going to click on that. Once it cl you click on it, it will open up a screen similar to this. This part here might not be the same on your screen right away. Nevertheless, this section right here is. You're going to click on Add to Chrome. Any extensions or apps like this that you install, you can access it on any Chrome device as long as you sign into Chrome. Okay, it's going to open up another window asking you to give permission. Now the permission is for you used to use your school email account with the extension Speak It you have to accept it or they will not install it. Okay, now on how to use SpeakIt. Once you clicked accept and it links it, this window will open up. Okay, if you have to, you can change your voice of the person speaking. You can change the volume level, speed, speaking rate, but really, you don't need this to mess around with this screen. Just come up here to the to the X and click close for that screen. How to use it? Well, this is really easy. In the upper right hand corner of your screen is this cute little speaker. Most of the time it's going to be dark, not really bright like other ones might will be. If you click on it, it opens up this little window. It will help analyze what to speak. However, let's say you don't want the whole page spoken. You just want a certain section. First, you would highlight that section. If you do not know how to highlight, one easy way is click, whoops, click at the beginning, hit the shift button, and hold it, and click at the end, and it will highlight everything between there. And then you come up here and click on that speaker. When it's doing this roundabout thing, that means it's thinking. Okay, so like in this video screenshot, the person only needed this part read to them. So they first highlighted it, then they went up to the area up here for it to be spoken. What if I need to pause it? That is easy. The center button here, while it's being played, the center button is also your pause button. What if I want to stop it all together? This gray box here is your stop button. Okay, so when should I use Speak It now? Well, anytime you want to be hearing the text read to you from a web page. Maybe you didn't know what the word sounded like, or it's really intelligent writing and you can hear better and understand it. What about proofreading your writing online? 
in Google Docs, if you're typing up your reports or whatever, you can have it read what you just wrote. Therefore, you can hear whether or not the sentences are making sense to you. And finally, another good one, what if your proofreading appears writing? So maybe your, your classmate wants you to proofread their writing. Well, some of us hear better than just reading the words only. Sometimes we put words in where they do not belong. So the computer will not do that. They will not put in the words where it doesn't belong. So that is Speak It in a nutshell. Let me model it for you really quickly. In our, okay, in our sixth grade transitions class, every sixth grade student is enrolled in this classroom. In this class, you have how-to videos, links, and other great resources available. One of the things that is available in that class, which is loading slowly, is links. Over here on the, the right hand side of your screen is what's called links. Right here I am putting all of the school bulletins in a folder. So let's take September 16th folder. Bulletin, maybe. And let's hear what the lunch has to say. Hit highlight it, hit my speak it button, hit play. It's thinking, of course. Maybe I'm recording, so it might not play because of what's going on here. Okay, hopefully, I fixed it. Let's take a look. does not seem to want to play it. Okay, sorry for that delay. Um, apparently because it was a PDF file, not really a web page, it did not want to read it for us. Yes, you might encounter some things like that. So I just opened up another web page, our school district web page, went to the students, and here we go. Senior Project Guidelines Apogee. Okay. Oh, I didn't catch that. Let me hear it again. For students, student email Moodle Twin Falls School District Style Book Senior Project Guidelines Apogee. Okay. So again, there you go. It will read that. It can read the whole page if you don't have anything highlighted. And it can decode what should be read. For students, student email Moodle okay. Twin Falls School District Style Book oh. Senior Project. I don't want to hear that anymore. I close it. I'm done. Okay. Thank you for listening. And again, that is your Speak It app right up here.